I hereby call the meeting of the City Council for Monday, June 22nd, 2020, 7 p.m. to order. Please join me in saluting our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States, United States, United States of America, America. And to the Republic, to the Republic of which it stands, stands one, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, and divisible, and divisible with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice, justice for all. For all. The following is the governor's order regarding open meeting laws. Out of respect for public health and in response to the governor's declared state of emergency, this meeting will be closed to the public and interested parties can instead access the deliberations via a live stream, which is www.youtube.com slash user slash the Brockton channel slash live, except for this evening. This evening it will be posted right after um, right after the meeting because we're having some technical uh, issues, but it is Facebook Live. This meeting is being held in accordance with Governor Charlie Baker's signed open meeting law order dated March 12th, 2020, which relieves the public body from the requirements of section 20 of chapter 30A that it conduct its meetings in a public place that is open and physically accessible to the public, provided that the public body makes provision to ensure public access to the deliberations of the public body for interested members of the public through adequate alternative means. Um, Councilors, once again, please mute if you're not speaking because we can hear some background uh, noise. So um, once again, we're having technical difficulties. This is being live streamed on Facebook, but it will be posted to YouTube as soon as the meeting is, um, is done. And of course you can view it on um, cable uh, community access um, channel 12. Madam President, I, under, I understand we are on BCA Live. I just had someone text message me. Yes, so, we are on BCA Live, but not YouTube. Okay, thank you. It's YouTube that we're ha they're having a problem posting it to. Thank you. No problem. Um, so before we begin, Madam Clerk, could you please um, read the role for attendance? Attorney Resnick. ASAC. Present. Cruz. Present. I mean, Cardozo. Sorry, Cardozo. Present. Cruz. Present. Ian Airy. He's on here. I see him, but he's muted. Counselor Ian Airy. Present. Farwell. Present. Lally. Present. Mendez. Present. Monahan. Present. Nicastro. Not Nicastro. Present, sorry. Rodriguez. Present. Thompson. Present. We have all 11 counselors tonight. Thank you. Um, Mr. Clerk, we have our clerk on this evening with us. Agenda item number one. The acceptance of the City Council minutes of May 26, 2020 meeting. Accepted and placed on file. We have the appointment of promotion of firefighter Kevin B. Sullivan to the rank of fire lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. Councillor Monahan. Madam President, I'd like to uh, make a motion to take numbers two through nine collectively and act on them tonight in suspension of the rules. Um, actually, can we do number two because we, uh, number two by itself, Councillor, because the other, uh, we actually have um, the future Lieutenant Kevin Sullivan on the line with us and he has a few members there. He's actually here with us. Where is well, the other? Okay. Yeah, okay. Take so number take, two and I'll make a motion to take number three through nine collectively and act on them. Okay, how about on um, number two? You're making a motion to take number two? On the suspension of the rules. On the suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. Is there a second? Second. Second. A motion's been made and properly second to take number two out of um, on the suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. Before we vote, uh, Councillor Cruz, did you want to, did you have something to say? Yes, thank you. I just wanted to take a minute before we uh, vote for Mr. Sullivan, who's a uh, very deserving candidate. I think we would be remiss, even in this tough times of Zoom meetings, to not mention the man he's taking the place of uh, 
There are very few public servants who have given so much of their life to protecting the people of Brockton and their own brother firefighters and also working with his union to uh, work with the city of Brockton in tough financial times. And Archie Gormley, even though I tease him mercilessly when I see him, has been a great uh, public servant for the city of Brockton and a great re representative of what our public servants are. So Mr. Sullivan can have a tough, tough shoes to fill. And I just wanted to, even though it is a Zoom meeting and it's not the same thing, I just want to wish, wish Ashti the best of luck. And uh, again, I think he's been a lesson to many young uh, public servants on what they should be for the city of Brockton. So thank you. And thank you, Councilor. Good luck, good luck to Mr. Gorman, to Ashti. Thank you, Councilor Cruz. So right now we're voting on um, taking this item, the promotion under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. Attorney Resnick, roll call, please. ASAC. Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. That's 11 in the affirmative. Now we're voting on the promotion. A roll call, Attorney Resnick. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Sorry, yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The promotion passes favorably. Um, congratulations, Lieutenant Sullivan. We also have um, Chief Williams on with us, and we also have, um, if you want, did you want to say a word, Chief? Just uh, congratulations to Kevin Sullivan. He's, he's been one of my finest firefighters for several years. So congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, did you want to say anything, um, Lieutenant? Sure. I'd like to thank the chief, um, the mayor, and the councilors for making this happen in this crazy time. So I appreciate it. And uh, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And we also have... Um, um, Captain Nardelli is Deputy Chief. <laughs> oh, Deputy Chief. Sorry, I just I can I just see him moving. Uh, seeing Deputy Chief Nardelli. Sorry, did That's you want to say right. anything? God, congratulations, Lieutenant Sullivan. Um, well thank you, Deputy. Thank you, Deputy. Congratulations, Councillor. Cruz, did you, uh, Council Monahan, you made a motion to take items three through nine collectively? Yes, and under suspension of the rules, and act on them under suspension of the rules tonight. Second. Okay. So, a motion has been made and properly seconded to take items uh, three through nine collectively and act on them this evening. Would you, um, Madam Clerk, can you read the roll, please? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. Passes. Now the vote is on. Um, actually, uh, Mr. Clark, can you read the appointments, please? I will. The following appointments are for special police officers of the city of Brockton for a term of one year Stephen Johnson, Robert Sergio, Scott Altman, Robert Smith, John Lonigan, Andrew Cesaridi, and Peter Skelly. Madam Clerk, the um, read the roll for we're voting on um, the appointments. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. 
Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. <laughs> 11 in the affirmative. The promotions pass favorably. Mr. Clerk, number 10. They have the position of Mass Electric Company, requested permission to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protecting fixtures as said company may deem necessary in the following public way, install new pole number 17 on Thatcher Street. <clears throat> and City Clerk's Office, May 27, 2020, period assigned for June 22, 2020. Time having arrived, I declare this, this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Mr. Syme, uh, Mr. Young? I know we have a representative on with... Mr. Young, are you... Can you hear us? Yep, I'm still there. Okay. You're you're here in favor of the petition of the um, petition, correct? Correct. Okay. Do you want to just tell the counselors your state your name, title, the company, just so for the record, please? My name is Simon Young. I'm a representative for National Grid, one of the Brockton engineers, representing one of the other engineers that weren't able to make it tonight to talk about. Are we talking about Thatcher Street? This one is Thatcher Street, yes. Poll number 17 on Thatcher Street. Okay. Yeah. Counselors, so, uh, go ahead, sorry. So Thatcher Street uh, is basically installing a new poll for a power sensing device, and this would be able to help us track the outages uh, more efficiently. Councilors, do you have any questions for Mr. Young? I don't see any hands up, okay. Is there anyone else here in favor? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Is there else, anyone else here in opposition? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Mr. Uh, Mr. Clark, number 11. Petition of National Grid and Verizon New England Inc. requested permission to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon, together with such a stating and protecting fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by your petitioners in the following public way, always, not Quiddy Street and Boundary Avenue. Installation of four JO pools, P126-50, P125, P124, and P4. Remove three JO poles, P126, OP4, and OP124. Relocate one JO pool. In city clerk, oh, I'm sorry. In city clerk's office, June 9th, 2020. Period assigned for June 22nd. 2020. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Mr. Young? You... Right, I was just going over the uh, diagram for the yes. that, that job. But my name again, once again, Simon Young from National Grid in favor of these poll locations, relocations. So these are relocations. Counselors, does anybody have any questions for Mr. Young? No questions, okay. Is there anyone else here in favor? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Is there anyone else here in opposition? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Thank you, Mr. Young. Uh, Mr. Clerk, number 12. 
We have the petition of National Grid and Verizon New England Inc. requesting permission to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protective fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by your petitioners and the following public way all ways, North Quincy Street and Boundary Avenue. Installation of a new jointly owned pole 59-1 on Sterling Road for ADA compliance mass dot project. In council and clerk's office, June 9th, 2020, period assigned for June 22nd, 2020. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Hi again, my name is Simon Young, National Grid. In favor of this petition, we are relocating pole 59 uh, in terms of to comply with DOT compliance for the sidewalk. And the extra pole for installation is to support the tension and down Sterling Road. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Is there anyone else here in opposition? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. So we will vote on these items at the end of the, um, the meeting. Thank you, uh, Ms. Young. You're more than welcome to stay on with us if you would like, um, but we'll vote on these at the end of the meeting. Mr. Clerk, number 13. We have the report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting on June 11th, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. The report of the Finance Committee for its meeting on June 15th, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requesting the acceptance and expenditures may grant received in the amount of $920,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Housing and Economic Development Program. The city is not required to contribute any matching funds or expenditures on the grant. The grant will fund construction of a new roadway from Petronelli Way to Court Street, including crossing Frankfurt Street and improvements to Petronelli Way. The project will support the four lots of development of municipal property within the city's 40R Smart Growth District. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the deputy director of MassDOT acting under the provisions of chapter 6C and chapter 81 of the general laws on May 13, 2020, the Mass Department of Transportation Highway Division altered the location of a section or sections of State Highway in Brockton and submitted a copy of the plan to file in the clerk's office in accordance with the statute referenced above. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development requesting that the City Council accept the $200,000 40R dividend and appropriate funds such as $100,000 in Fiscal 21 to Planning Department, 40R activities, and the remaining $100,000 into the Thatcher Street Stabilization Account to be established by the Chief Financial Officer will be used to advance planning efforts, including the development of new zoning around the Camp Pello Station area and the Southern Main Street corridor to support the Camp Pello Vision Plan created in 2018. And placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the interim superintendent of buildings requesting the reauthorization of the revolving fund fiscal 21 for the demolition account. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the interim superintendent of buildings requesting the authorization of the revolving fund fiscal 2021 for the vacant abandoned fund. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
we have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepting placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW commissioner requesting that the city council transfer $75,000 from highway divisions capital project outlay to highway divisions snow removal. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the chief of police requesting the transfer of $300,000 from police court to police capital. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the chief of police requesting authorization to spend grant monies any amount of $6,000 related to the fiscal 2020 pedestrian and bicycle safety program from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security via the National Highway Traffic State Safety Administration. Accepted and placed on file. We have communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication relative to the same from the CFO. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development requesting that the City Council accept and appropriate a $50,000 grant from the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs for the purposes of developing transit-oriented development solely in the Campbell neighborhood. A required 25% match of $12,500 will come from the Thatcher 40R Smart Growth Dividend. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the chief of police department requesting permission to expend law enforcement equipment and technology grant any amount of $37,987.69 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Office of Grants and Research by the United States Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor appointing Emmanuel Gomes as chief of police for the city of Brockton Police Department for a term of three years. Accepted and placed on file. Okay, we have ordered that the mayor and our treasurer collector be authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to convey the property consistent of 3,255 square feet located in Nome is part 10 dash 178 Wyman Street, parcel ID 093-204 to Alex Kriakala, 7.5 Wyman Street, Brockton, Mass, for the purchase price of $1,000. Said property be so to be sold under the abutto lot program and to be sold without a permanent not fillable restriction. Said property shall also emerge with a body lot of the purchase. In Council April 15, 2020, ready for the standing committee in real estate, that report was favorable as amended. Okay, Council, the question is on the amendment. Madam Clerk, can you read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The amendment. To yes. Sorry. Audit total proposed transfer of twenty thousand oh, dollars. We didn't vote. We have now. We have to. The questions on adoption as. Okay. Okay. So now we need the um, vote for application amended. Correct. As amended. Correct. Shannon, now. 
So we have to do another one now as amended, correct? Correct. Okay. ASEC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Mr. Clerk, number 45. Order, total proposed transfer of $20,000 for Park and Authority Personal Services, non-overtime, to Park and Authority Purchase Services, Security Fire Control. End Council, May 26, 2020. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz. Sorry about that. Yes. Ian Erie. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Mendez. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Nicastro. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Thompson. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. You want to pass it favorably, Mr. Clark. Order that, the, order that the city council reauthorize the parking authorities revolving fund <coughs> to for revenues from parking fines up to and including the amount of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for fiscal twenty twenty one. End council May twenty sixth, twenty twenty. Ready to refer to the standing committee on finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, the roll, please. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Mr. Clark. You're muted, Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark, Tony, you're muted. You have to unmute. Tony, can you hear us? He looks frozen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he closed himself out of the app. I'm sorry? I think he closed himself out of the app, so he can hear us, he just can't see us. Oh, okay. He's not, the Zoom is not what's on the screen. So, sh should I read his part, or should, Robin, do you want to take over? Are you there? Surely yeah. I can I can read. You, you have it? Okay, perfect. Yes. So. Starting from 47? Yes. Okay. Ordered total proposed transfer of $25,000 from Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Fire Services to Brockton Fire Department FY 2020 General Appropriations Act Chapter 41 of the Acts of 2019 grant um, report favorable of the Finance Committee. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Please read the um, roll, Madam Clerk. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Yeah. 11 uh, in the affirmative. The order passes favor. Number 48. Total proposed transfer of $100,000 from auditor's office consultants for $25,000 and police department 
personal services other than overtime dash court for $75,000 to planning and economic development dash other contract services. Uh, the report on that was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Fowell? Yeah. Yeah. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. You there, Shannon? Can you hear us? I, I, I am. It looks like um the clerk's back so yeah so that was in the affirmative right that yeah 11 and um in the, the order passes favorably mr clerk you're back on with us sorry we lost you there for a minute yeah. so we're on yeah. number 49 mr clerk what 49 yeah. okay order total transfer of one million five hundred thousand dollars from dpw highway division snow removal the City Stabilization Fund in Council May 26, 2020. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Ordered that the City Council provide authorization for payments of the T Mobile bill in the amount of $1,636 and 65 cents from library purchase of services. In council May 26, 2020, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Sorry. Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Order that the City Council authorize the reauthorization of the Comcast Revolving Fund for fiscal 2021 from all cash receipts for Comcast franchise fees in excess of $675,000 pursuant to the cable license contract and that further that the expenditures from this fund shall not exceed $750,000 without further appropriation during fiscal year 2021. In Council May 26, 2020, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Yeah. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Yeah. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Order that the City Council authorize the proposed tax increment financing agreement between the City of Brockton and New Westgate Mall LLC in Council March 9, 2020. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. 
ASAC? Yes. Cadozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? No. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. That's nine in the affirmative, one voting in opposition. Resolved that a representative Olson does not prevail. Second. A motion has been made for reconsideration. I hope it does not prevail and properly seconded. All those in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hands. All those opposed, <laughs> please raise your hands. Reconsideration fails. Resolve the rip. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That a representative from Mass Development appeared before the Finance Committee to inform the committee about the Mass Property Assessed Clean Energy Program, PACE Massachusetts, to provide a financing mechanism to private owners of commercial and industrial properties for certain qualifying commercial energy improvements. In Council May 26, 2020, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passed favorably. We have a resolve that Joe Miranda, president of Brockton Community Access Board, appeared before the city council to give an update on BCA's progress. In council, March 9th, 2020, Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Madam President, can I say something? Uh, Councilor yes. Was yes. that a yes? That was yes. a yes? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm getting some choppiness on my end. I don't know what that is. Um, I'd just like to thank uh, Mr. Joe Miranda for sending us in the bylaws. Um, I still wasn't clear on whether um, his role as a board member, if he should be filling in as a, um, a you know, in a management capacity at BCA. But I would like to say in this era where we need as many platforms as possible to be able to disseminate information in different languages, that I would like to see BCA working to its fullest potential. And so, you know, that's something that will be kind of on, you know, my radar at least uh, moving forward is to make sure that there is managing day to day operations so that we get, you know, the best use of BCA as possible. And that's all. Thank, Thank you. you. Counselor. Um, so the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Uh, ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The resolve passes favorably. I would also like to comment that and thank Mr. Miranda and Phil at BCA for sending the information to all 11 councils. So we appreciate getting all that information from them. Um, thank you, council. Before we move to the orders, I would just like to recognize that we have uh, Mayor Sullivan on. He's been on the line with us since the beginning of this meeting, as well as our CFO, uh, CFO Troy Claxton and Chief Gomes have been on uh, with us. So 
with any of the next items, if um, you know anything comes up and we have any questions, they're also available to answer the questions for us. Mr. Clerk, number four, uh, 55. Audit one, that the mayor of Brockton, pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Laws, chapter 44, section 53A, be and is hereby authorized to accept the grant in the amount of $920,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Housing and Choice Incentive Program, and two, that the mayor of Brockton be and is hereby authorized to expend and take such other actions as are necessary to carry out the terms purposes and conditions of this grant to be administered by the City Department of Public Works. That's being referred to finance. Audit that the City of Brockton shall accept a $200,000 40 hour smart growth incentive dividend from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and reinvest it in planning activities. That $100,000 of the 40 hour smart growth dividend be appropriated in fiscal year 2021 to the Department of Planning and Economic Development for the R activities and that the department is authorized to engage professional consulting services to prepare various planning documents for various commercial districts and in particular the Campello neighborhood. Said documents may include but shall not be limited to the following district master plans, rezoning proposals, urban renewal plans, district improvement plans, and infrastructure plans. That $100,000 of the 40 hour smart growth dividend be appropriated into a Thatcher Street stabilization account to be created by the chief financial officer. That's referred to finance. Councilor Rodriguez, do you mind muting your microphone, please? Oh, my little guy there's jumping around. Yeah. He's adorable, but uh, I was interfering with the... Order that the city of Brockton shall accept a $50,000 planning assistance grant from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, EEA, for the purposes of developing transit-oriented development zoning in the Camp Hill neighborhood, and that the required 25% match of $12,500 come from the Thatcher Street 40R Smart Growth Dividend, and that the Mayor Brockton be and is hereby authorized to take such other action as are necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of this grant to be administered by the Department of Planning and Economic Development. Refer to finance. We have an order that the City Council authorize the reauthorization of the vacant and abandoned building revolving fund for the purpose of maintaining the abandoned building registry as well as the closing, boarding up, and care of vacant abandoned buildings. Expenditures from the vacant and abandoned building revolving fund shall be made at the direction of the building superintendent with a written approval of the mayor, provided that no more than $250,000 may be so expended without further appropriation from the vacant and abandoned buildings revolving fund during fiscal 2021. Madam President. Council Cruz. I'd make a motion we act on this tonight under suspension of the rules. Um, a motion has been made to take this under suspension of the rules on, and act on it this evening and properly seconded. All those in favor of hand, hand vote of taking this under suspension of the rules. Anyone opposed? Okay. So and Madam President, if we could ask uh, Mr. Clarkson maybe to, just for the public to give a brief explanation of what this is, so yeah. the public understands why we're moving on this evening. Mr. Clarkson, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam President. This is one of several revolving funds that the city operates. Uh, as the introduction by the clerk uh, indicated, this one is for the purpose of maintaining, uh, closing, boarding up and care of vacant and abandoned buildings. So as you all know, but for the benefit of the public, several years ago, you passed uh, an ordinance that requires owners of vacant buildings to pay a fee if those buildings remain vacant. The money goes into this fund and then can be spent to make repairs or uh, emergency updates to buildings uh, that are 
that are part of the abandoned building registry. Uh, just so you know, the current balance in that fund is $1,905,486. Madam President, just so the public knows, and Mr. Claxon, correct me if I'm wrong, when we expend from this fund, we put a lien on anything that's an abandoned building and we recoup this money later on, correct? Yes, that is, that is correct. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. You're muted, Madam President. Councilor, thank you, Councilor. Councilor Cardoso, <laughs> you have your hand up. I'm sorry, that was for the previous. Oh, for the previous, okay. So, Councilors, no further questions. So, uh, Madam Clerk, please read um, the roll on passing this this evening. ASAC? Yes. Cardoso? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Number order, that, order that the city council authorize the reauthorization of the demolition revolt revolving fund of fiscal 21 for the sole purpose of helping to fund the cost in connection with the demolition of buildings in the city of Brockton. Expenditures from the demolition revolving fund shall be made at the direction of the building superintendent with the written approval of the mayor, provided that no more than $110,000 may be so expended from the demolition revolving fund during fiscal 21, 2021. Oh. Councilor Cruz. Thank you, Madam President, and make a motion we take this under suspension of the rules and act this evening also. A motion's been made to take this under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening and properly seconded. All those in favor of um, raise your hand. Anyone opposed? All opposed? No opposition. Uh, Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Oh, Cardozo? <laughs> yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order passes favorably. Uh, a total transfer of $300,000 from police department court to police department capital. Councilor Lally, you have your hand up. Uh, Madam President, I would like to move that we take items 60 and 61 collectively. And then after that vote, I'm going to make a motion to act on them tonight. Okay, all those in favor of taking them collectively, please raise your hand. Anyone opposed? That passes favorably. Um, Mr. Clerk, could you read number 61 as well? Audit a total transfer of $75,000 from the Department of Public Works Capital to the Department of Public Works Highway Division Snow Removal. Councilor Lally? Uh, Madam President, I move that we take these under suspension of the rules and act on them tonight. Is there a second? Second. A motion has been made to take these under suspension of the rules and act on them this evening. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion carries. Madam uh, Clerk, please read the roll for... Uh, uh, Council, uh, Madam President, before we do, I had a couple of questions. Yes. Uh, just and probably uh, Mr. Clarkson can probably answer for me. The mayor may need to. So on the first one, three hundred thousand dollars left over for court for police, the police department. Is that was that fund 
is that because of COVID that we weren't in court very much, or is that something we think we can take out of the budget as we get into it this year, or why so much left over in in court court uh, pay? Excellent question, Councillor. The answer is um, yes to both of your questions. So, and Chief Gomes obviously is on the call as well, but. Uh, he had authorized us to use this line for precisely that reason, because there's a significant balance, about $383,000 left in there right now. And it's because of the closings of the court that we haven't been sending police officers to court. Uh, I believe that the, the mayor and the chief working together along with me um, had a very similar thought, Councillor Cruz, to you for the fiscal year 21 budget and made some reductions in that court line uh, because the chief uh, it, it has been able to make some reforms in how those people are assigned. So you'll, there already have been some reductions. Uh, that's great. And then we're moving this to capital. What is the, uh, what are we doing with the money? So the, there has been a, a problem with a roof leak in the police department for some time. And although we are proceeding with the design and construction of a new building, uh, the, I think the scope and the nature of the leak makes it, uh, urgent enough that it really can't wait until we build a new building and it is impacting police operations. Thank you. Thank you for the explanation. Thank you, Chief. I forgot you're up there. It's like Hollywood Squares, so. Thank you, Councilor Cruz. Um, Councilor Rodriguez, you have a question? No, that was my question. It was answered. Thank you very much. Okay, Councilor Fowler, you had your hand up? Uh, my question's answered. Thank you. Okay. So uh, right now, so uh, Madam Clerk, please read the roll. So we're voting on uh, both items, correct? Ace ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson. Yeah. 11 in the affirmative. The orders passed favorably. Order an appropriation of $37,987.69 from the fiscal 2019 Project Safe Neighborhoods Law Enforcement Technology Local Solicitation to Police Department Law Enforcement Equipment and Technology Grant Fund. So, Madam President, I would ask that after item 63 is read, we move on the suspension of the rules and act on 62 and 63 tonight collectively. That's in the form of a motion, Councillor? So, yes, so moved. Second. A motion has been made and properly seconded to take 62 and 63 collectively and act on them this evening. All those in favor? Anyone opposed? It passes. Um, Mr. Clerk, could, would you like to read uh, number 63 before we vote on them, please? Yes. Appropriation of $6,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Fiscal 2020, Pedestrian and Bicycle Safety Program to the Police Department, Fiscal 2020, Pedestrian and Bicycle Safety Program Fund. Councilor, Councilor Fowler, you have your hand up? Yes, just for the, my colleagues and for the public, the police department partnered with the DA's office on this uh, $39,987. And as such, the police department will be able to purchase seven radios, a couple of laptops, and some evidence software, which will be very beneficial. The funds need to be uh, spent and the goods have to be delivered by September 30. With respect to the small grant for bicycle safety, that will allow us to put out some bicycle patrols in the areas where they have, there has been some heavy pedestrian uh, traffic and accidents. So both of these will augment what the police department has planned. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Cruz. Thank you. Actually, uh, the, I was gonna ask the asked the chief what the technology was that we were getting. I, I, I assume Sergeant Fowell gave a pretty good uh, explanation there. <laughs> so we don't need to unmute Chief Gomes on that, thank you. So I'll, I'll go with Fowell for the block. All right, great, thank you. Councilman Monahan, I'm sorry. 
Nothing. <laughs> okay, any further questions, counselors, for anyone? Okay, I'm um, Adam Clark. Please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Uh, yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The Madam order is passed. May we consideration and the hope it does not prevail on both. Second. Second. The motion's been made for reconsideration. I hope it does not prevail. Properly seconded. All those in favor of reconsideration? Tina? No. Um, all those opposed for reconsideration? Reconsideration fails. Okay. <laughs> Thank Habit. You. Thank you, Troy. Thank you for, for and um, Mayor for being available to answer those questions for us. Um, go ahead, Mr. Clark. Hey, we have number 64, the yeah. grant of Mass Electric Company to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protective fixtures as said company may deem necessary in the following public way. Install new pole number 17 on Thatcher Street. Um, Madam Clerk, it says a hand vote, but we've been doing uh, roll call votes for all these, Mr. Clerk, so it goes into the record. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The petition is granted. The grant international grid and revised in New England Inc. to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining protective fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by your petitioners in the following public way always. North Quinney Street and Bowdy Avenue. Installation of four JL poles, pole 126 50, pole 125, pole 124, and pole 4. Remove three JO poles, P126, OP4, and OP124. Relocate one JO pole. Question is on. Questions on granting by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The petition is granted. The clerk. Number 66. The granting of National Grid and Verizon New England Inc. to erect and maintain poles and wires to be placed thereon together with such sustaining and protective fixtures as said companies may deem necessary to be owned and used in common by your petitioners in the following public way or ways. North Quincy Street and Boundary Avenue, installation of a new jointly owned pole 59-1 on Sterling Road for ADA compliance mass dot project. Questions on granting my roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The petition is granted. 
Councillor um, Mendez. Yes, um, Madam Clerk, I make a motion to accept the late file and then I'll be making the motion to take it under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. Second. So a motion has been made to accept the late file and act on it this evening and properly seconded. All those in favor of accepting a late file? Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Um, Mr. Clerk, please read the late file. This is the one on the Chief of Police, am I yes, correct? correct. Okay. In Council, June 22nd, 2020, I hereby, hereby appoint Manuel Gomes as Chief of Police for the City of Brockton Police Department for a term of three years, Robert E. Sullivan, Mayor, City of Brockton. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. I know, Mayor, you're on with us and the Chief is on with us. Would you like to say a few words? I, I would. I want to thank um, Councilor at Lodge Mendez for, uh, for sponsoring the, the late file. Um, just to let you know, uh, agenda item 43 uh, is this exact same thing. It was a communication for me as the mayor uh, appointing uh, Manny Gomes to be the chief for a term of three years. Uh, past practices uh, allowed us to do communications to, uh, to certain department heads, uh, but legal uh, and also the city clerk thought it would be wise to also just do a formal appointment order. Uh, which mirrors uh, agenda item number 43. So Chief Gomes, again, has been the acting chief since, uh, since soon after I took office. He's done a phenomenal job, great communication with the council and other elected officials, and more importantly, citizens in the city of Brockton. So I proudly put this uh, before you tonight, and I know uh, Manny, uh, Chief Gomes, is here to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and the chief's been on from the beginning of the meeting with us. Council Crew, do you have your hand up? Was that me? Yes. Yes, actually, I just wanted to say, um, even though it does, this is another public servant that I tease back and forth with, I've known Chief Gomes and members of his family for about 45 years. And I have to tell you that I am so impressed by the job he's done since he came back to this job. We've, we've had a tough time nationally and locally in the last month and a half or so. And his leadership of his men has been exemplary and his communication with the public has been exemplary. So as much as I tease you, Chief, uh, I'm glad you're there. And Mr. Mayor, uh, great job on the, on the appointment. So thank you. Thank you, Councilor. And yes, and I will express as well, um, Chief Gomes has done a great job communicating with us and um, always being available when we've reached out to him. So thank you, Chief. We appreciate that. Uh, Councilor Cardoso. Hi, thank you, Madam President. Chief Gomes, um, I'd like to thank you again for all of the communications with the council. I really appreciate that. And um, I just wanted to, um, in this climate that we're in, police reform and you know all of the issues that we're having around transparency in the department, to just suggest that we kind of do more to inform the public about the policies um, uh, of the um, police department here in Brockton and to, uh, you know, be proactive in making sure that people understand that, you know, the police department is here to protect them, where, you know, they're not their enemy, especially with our youth. So um, I know you're going to do a great job in that. I know that these are things you're already thinking about. Um, but if there's anything that we as the council can do to support that so that we're making sure that the public knows that we're all on the same page as far as, um, you know, the police reform situation and, and all that's going on in this current climate, then uh, please reach out and let us know how we can work together to work on some of these issues. All set, Councillor? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Councillor Nicastro. Thank you. Congratulations, Chief Gomes. It's been my pleasure to work with you these past months. As you know, Ward 5 is a, a busy hotbed of activity, and I'm grateful for your help and for the help of the police department. Congratulations. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Council. Councilor Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, I just want to echo what Councilor Cardoza just said, uh, Chief. I want to take it a little further and say that <laughs> One of the things that we, uh, we need to do in this city is uh, we want to see our police chief a little more visible than in the past. Uh, believe it or not, uh, the residents don't want to see uh, politicians in the streets when we have an issue that uh, is in a, of, a, of a criminal matter, of some sort of uh, 
uh, public safety uh, issues. So I'm hoping that uh, would um, take the mantle forward, but at the same time, uh, be a little more visible because when something happens in the community, we want to see the generals. And, uh, and I appreciate the fact that, you know, we're, I've known you for quite some time and I, I'm sure you'll do a great job, but just visit is also important. Nothing wrong with seeing the mayor once in a while, but a, a lot of, I think, uh, in the past, we were seeing a lot more of the politicians than uh, the police chief. So my hope is that, you know, there's a lot more of you out there versus us on the back side of things. Again, congratulations. I look forward to working with you. Thank you, Councillor. Any, um, any further questions? Uh, chief, would you like to say anything? Or? Uh, yes. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the uh, the mayor for placing his trust in me. And I, I want to thank the city council for their support and the very kind words. Um, some of the things that I've heard tonight uh, uh, will not be lost on me. And we are in the process of taking things in a different direction. Obviously, we all know what uh, COVID has done to some of our public meetings and, and, and things in the community. But I, I plan on being very, uh, very present and uh, this department is going to be very, very transparent. And I want to uh, thank you again for your support. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. With that said, Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. It's 11 in the affirmative. Thank you. The appointment of Chief Gomes is a uh, favor, passes favorably. Congratulations, Chief. Councilor Mendez. I also make a motion for reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. A motion has been made for reconsideration. It hopes it does not prevail. Properly seconded. All those in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All those opposed, reconsideration fails. Councilor Mendez. So, Madam President, I make a motion to accept a late file and also to take under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. Second. A motion has been made for a late file and uh, to accept the late file and act on it this evening and properly seconded. All those in favor of accepting the late file and act on it this evening, please raise your hands. All those opposed, the motion carries. Mr. Clark, please read the late file. Are we going to do these uh, on a single I basis or collectively? I believe collect account we can take them collectively. Do we need a motion for that or? Make a motion to take them collectively. Second. A motion has been made to take the late file, um, the uh, reappoint the uh, promotions collectively. All those in favor of taking them collectively? All those opposed? We're taking them collectively, Mr. Clark. Okay. The motion of Arthur McNulty to the rack of captain in the Parkton Police Department. Promotion of Brenda Perez to the rank of lieutenant in the Parkton Police Department. The promotion of Walter Sledman to the rank of lieutenant in the Brockton Police Department. Uh, the appointment of uh, promotion, I'm sorry, Patrick Benneby to the rank of sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. The promotion of Adam Reeves to the rank of sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. The promotion of William Stafford to the rank of sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. The promotion of Matthew Graham to the rank of sergeant in the Bronco Police Department. Okay. That's all of them, uh, Mr. Clark? That's all that I have. Okay. We have, uh, these are, we're voting on the um, special police appointments, Madam Clark. Madam, Madam President, if I could just give yes, some information. Yes. Thank you, Madam President. And I want to thank again, Councilor at Lodge Mendez. Um, the, reason, the reason why we have these promotions, it's a trickle down effect. So now Chief Gomes, permanent Chief Gomes, not acting, uh, he has uh, relinquished his captain. Uh, he will no longer be a captain. Um, when he is no longer chief, 
uh, he is going to retire. Uh, he has indicated that to me and it's been written as such. So um, because he relinquishes his captain, uh, a captain opens up uh, and then the trickle down, lieutenant and sergeant and the like. So um, we needed to hold off on these until um, Chief Gomes was official. Um, and due to the fact that you're in summer session uh, and it won't, the next, uh, Mr. Clerk told me the next meeting would be July 27th, um, civil service timelines. That's why this is before you tonight to get these um, and as you remember, um, Brenda Perez was a temporary. Uh, in this case, she will now be permanent and the temporaries will be permanent. And that's what's before you tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the explanation, Mayor. Councilor Cruz? Yeah, just I don't want to be a, 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 I'm glad to get these done, but does the ordinance allow for uh, renouncing uh, the captainship or the captaincy or? Yes. Yes, uh, this past practice when Chief Paul Stadinsky Jr. was chief, uh, he gave up his brass uh, so that another individual could be promoted up. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Counselor. Um, Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Uh, ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Arwell? Yes. Ali? Yes. Uh, Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. That's 11 in the affirmative. The motion passed favorably. Congratulations to the police office, uh, to the newly um, police officers that have moved up to moved up in the rank. And congratulations, Chief. Thank you, uh, Councilor Cruz. You have your hand up. I just wanted to ask to make sure the clerk's office. Can you make sure that somebody emails us a list of those those they names? They emailed to you already. They emailed them right before the meeting, late this afternoon. Okay. Thank you, Councilor Fowell. Yes, Madam President, I know you may have some announcements or others, but uh, before we get into that, I wanted to mention that Deputy Chief Kenneth Gilpatrick, age 97, who served for 34 years on the fire department, passed away two days ago. Uh, I answered many a call when I was on the police department with the deputy. He was a consummate professional. He also was a World War II veteran. He was the uh, in the initial assault on Normandy Beach on June 6th, 1944. And out of the greatest generation, we have lost another one. And I would just like to ask that we take a moment of silence uh, in honor of the deputy. Thank you, Madam President. May he rest in peace. Uh, Councillor Cruz, do you have your hand up or? No, that was up from before, all set. Actually, um, I would also, I would like to um, send our condolences for, on behalf of the full city council to our, to Janice Fitzgerald, the director of the council on aging. She lost her mother-in-law, Esther Fitzgerald, I believe yesterday. And um, Esther was a wonderful lady. It made everybody laugh. She was a regular at the Council on Aging. And um, I just want Janice to know that our thoughts and prayers are with her and um, Esther will be greatly missed. So um, may she rest in peace and our thoughts and prayers are with the family. On um, any counselors, do you, does anybody have any counselor power? You have your hand up again or is that old? No, that's old. Pardon me. Okay. So um, before we end our meeting tonight, I would just like to remind counselors and everyone at home that the uh, our budget hearings are tomorrow night. So it's Tuesday, June 23rd and Wednesday, June 24th. From 6 p.m. until 6.30 on both nights, we're going to have a public comment time where um, residents have either sent in emails or they're going to send them via YouTube and we're going to read them from 6 to 6.30 as part of the public comment part of the, um, the hearings. And the hearings will commence exactly at 6.30 p.m. Uh, for the first night and as well as for um, Wednesday evening. So two nights of hearings and they will take place in council chambers. 
the council will be, and you know, whoever is able to be in council chambers will be there. It is, pre it is prepped for us. It's ready. Uh, it looks beautiful. And it looks like it's missed us, but it's um, we're ready to be in council chambers with the help of the mayor and the building department. It's been, you know, set up and disinfected, and um, the city councils will hear the, will have the budget hearings in there. We'll listen to each individual department head. Uh, we're following all the regulations by the Board of Health and the building department, so we're following all the rules. But um, so that starts tomorrow, and uh, we'll be live, of course, on BCA and possibly YouTube, and people can send their comments uh, via that, via YouTube or email, which is um, posted on the city website. So thank you for all, uh, for, the, for everybody's help from the Board of Health, and of course, our mayor, and the clerk's office, who's done a great job um, posting, making sure that everything is posted. And um, hopefully, you know, this is a first. I, I commend the new counselors. Uh, they're not new anymore, but Councilor Cardoso, Mendez, and Thompson. But I think this is gonna new, it's going to be new for all of us. This, I don't think anybody's done a budget this way. Um, so we're all in the same boat this uh, next few days. So we'll, we're going to work together and, um, you know get through the next few days hopefully smoothly and um and you know if you have any questions of course you can always reach out reach out to any one of us but um thank you again and thank you to uh to all of you for all your patience and bca of course so and then afterwards we'll resume back on zoom uh, for the next couple of meetings until we figure out what we're what's going on and uh, so no comments with no further business before us this evening this meeting is adjourned <laughs>